Although the Japanese people have been a spiritual people for centuries, it wasn't until 1500 years after Jesus that the gospel first reached Japan. In 1541, Ignatius Loyola, the founder of the Jesuit order of the Catholic Church, sent his most gifted associate, Francis Xavier, to the East. After four years running the Jesuit mission in India, Xavier moved to Malaysia, where he met a Japanese man named Njiro. Njiro was there to escape prosecution for an alleged murder he committed in Japan. Xavier befriended him, shared the gospel, and baptized him. They became partners in ministry, and Njiro told Xavier about Japan. They put together a ragtag team of two other Jesuits, two Japanese converts, and an Indian, and set sail. They arrived here in 1549, the first ever Christian missionaries to Japan. With Njiro's help, the team tried to learn the language, but it proved to be a barrier. There were simply no Japanese terms for certain key Christian concepts. Xavier grew so frustrated that he once called the Japanese language the devil's own tongue. He discovered that he was using the wrong words for key Christian ideas. For instance, the closest word for God in Japanese also meant big lie. Over time, the Jesuits created their own words for sharing the gospel and began having some successes. Because of opposition from local shoguns, the team was forced to move every couple of months. They would see about 100 people in a village come to Christ and then move on. In some regions, they received favor, and in others, they escaped with their lives. After a couple of years of ministry, in Japan, Francis Xavier returned to India to once again run the mission there. Xavier never returned to Japan, yet the work he pioneered in the region endured. Historians estimate that Xavier baptized over 30,000 new Christians in India, Malaysia, and Japan. Thanks to his leadership, his missions went on to see half a million people in the East come to Jesus Christ. Over 2,000 years ago, the man known as Jesus of Nazareth was born in the small town of Bethlehem in the land of Judea. His extraordinary life, brutal execution, and miraculous resurrection from the dead attest to the truth of his claim to be the only Son of God. This is the story of how Jesus, through the lives of his faithful followers, has become known around the world, impacting all of human history from the first century until today. This is Drive Through History, Ends of the Earth.